In this video, I'm going to update you on my $20,000 investment that I recently talked about, give you an idea of what's going on with it. And I also want to cover a stock at the very end of the video that has been hinting at an artificial intelligence, you know, some sort of update, some sort of news, some sort of press release coming. They've been hinting about it on their Twitter page that it could be a swing trade opportunity for that news. Now, on this channel, I was able to accurately call the AI wave to take over the stock market, and clearly that has been the case. But shortly after calling the AI wave, I said quantum computing, there, there could be a quantum computing wave right behind it. That's exactly what we're seeing right now and what we've been seeing for the past few weeks. Make sure you have the notification bell on because I know you're, you're, you want to be right on top of the next sector hype wave, and I'll be right on top of it on this channel. And also dropping a like on the video actually recommends you these videos on your homepage in the future so you don't miss them. But it's likely that the AI and quantum computing sectors are not going away anytime soon. They could easily cool down, but I don't think they're going to completely go away anytime soon. I still think there's going to be artificial intelligence, quantum computing runners, but like I said, there's a good chance they still could cool down. They, they're, you know, they've been raging for the past few months now. IO and Q was caught as the leader of the, of the quantum computing sector, and it's doubled since that video in early February. I said I bought call options on IONQ back in February. And if you were able to hold those till now, bought far out call options, you probably made a couple thousand percent on that. Although I know most of you probably didn't hold. It's pretty difficult to hold if you're up 100, 200, 300 percent on a call option. It's very risky to continue to hold that. And of course, QBTS was called as my quant top quantum small cap stock months ago. It did go down a few weeks after the initial video. I think it initially rose after the video and then it went down after that, but you had it on your radar as the top quantum small cap stock. So when, you know, for example, I own and Q started running, you had it right on your watch list to be able to bank off of QBTS. Using that knowledge that I learned months ago, when I noticed the leader IO1Q gaining steam, I alerted the Discord about the top quantum small cap stocks with, of course, QBTS and RGTI being number one and number two on that list. This was pretty much the bottom when both of them were in the 50 cent range. When I alerted this 522 May 22nd at 9.44 a.m., the same day I posted the QBTS price target really shortly after this post. You can see QBTS, nice volume coming in on that $2 price target right after I posted the news. And then it started ripping. It actually went up 100, I think 150% that day alone. And then it's been going up nonstop since that with a few pullbacks in between. You can see, I mean, we were just on top of this months ago. A lot of people still in this Discord are saying, wow, I held this all the way through, which is very risky. I'm surprised some people did hold it all the way through, but they did it. They're up to 300% and yeah, 350% since the Discord call in just 12 trading days to make that big move. Could it go up a little bit more before the inevitable drop? Sure it could, but let's talk about it. And also the link to join the Discord where you get all of these alerts is in the top pin comment. Hop in the Discord right now so you don't miss out on these big runners. At this point for QBTS, a lot of people are wondering, could it continue to just go up? You got At this point, you gotta be playing the breakout. The big breakout level is over 280. For example, if it breaks over 280 right here and then retests it back down, and then it's holding that 280, bounces off 280 again, and then starts to run up again, you could see another breakout move towards the 430 gap fill. But if it does not break over 280 and starts to knife down, let's say it knifes down and gets knifes down even below two, that's probably a sign that it's gotta cool down for a bit. Remember, this came up from 39 cents in just you know 12 days to three dollars so this is absolutely an incredible run you don't want to wipe out your gains there's a good chance it can pull back from here right now i would only be looking at that 280 breakout if it breaks out retests it and then breaks up again that's what i would be looking at for qbts rgti made a 30 percent move yesterday i covered this one just a week ago i said i think this can be the next one to go well qbts continued to go which i covered in this video as well but rgti was right behind it if ion q stays strong and the quantum sector hype does continue i do see rgti as one of the best 
They have 100 million cash on hand. The market cap is 130 million, but use risk management. Remember, most of these quantum stocks are up significantly since May 22nd. Now, I do want to clarify a stock pick that I covered in a recent video titled, you know, I bought $16,000 of this penny stock, basically a $20,000 position on S-O-U-N. First of all, I'm still holding this full position and I plan to hold for quite some time. That's the part that most people miss, which is understandable because most of the stocks I talk about on this channel are quick trades, you know, literally day trades or just quick in and out trades or swing trades. This S-O-U-N for me, let me make it clear, it's truly a long-term hold that I plan to, to own for, you know, two to five years or even longer. I believe there will be a few small cap AI stocks that create generational wealth in the next two to five to 10 years and create millionaires. I think AI, artificial intelligence, is going to create many millionaires if you play it right. I can't be 100% sure if S-O-U-N is gonna be one of them that grows into a massive multi-billion dollar company in the future, but based on the DD I've done, I believe it has a solid chance. Although you wanna be diversified, if you want a pure diversification um, stock to get into artificial intelligence stocks all in one, check out the, the ticker chat. It's literally chat. It's a generative AI ETF, has a bunch of different AI stocks in there, Chinese stocks, US stocks. Pretty much you're you're covered in the AI market. I'm going to be holding chat long term, but SOUN, I want the chance to make generational wealth, which is why I'm going to hold this long term. It may work out. It may not. It could go to zero, but based on the DD I've done, like I said, I think it has a good chance to make me a lot of money in the long term. On top of the DD that I've already done, I don't want to go over the DD I already done in the previous video. But I want to mention that the chat AI ETF and the box AI ETF have done their own DD and they believe the co in the company enough to include them in their ETFs, which gives me even more confidence in the long term potential of SOUN. On top of that, to give me even more confidence in my long term investment, NVIDIA, Tencent, Mercedes Benz, Samsung, Oracle, and many other large companies are invested in SOUN. And keep in mind, let me make it clear, most penny stocks are not long-term holds. This is one exception I have. I'm not holding many penny stock penny stocks long-term, but this is one where I can see myself making generational wealth. It could take a long time for this one to play out. If you don't like holding penny stocks long-term, you don't got to do it. You don't got to follow anything I do. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell anything. I'm telling you what I'm doing, giving you ideas, but I, I do believe SOUN has that opportunity to make me generational wealth in the long run, but it may never do so. I wanted to mention MVLA once again. This is an AI stock. It's, it's more than just AI, but... It's been consistently ripping higher since covering it for the first time on the channel, now up nearly 100% from that dip and then that rip. It's just been on a steady grind higher. I don't see this one slowing down anytime soon, but I do could see a pullback in the near future. There is a really good chance for a pullback, but I do see people buying up that pullback if it gets a nice strong pullback. It was recently given a $4 price target five days ago. There was an overall low risk of dilution. Insiders were loading up in, in late May, which I covered in videos while that was happening. Since I still believe MVLA has lots of room to run, whether it moves, you know, whether it dips and rips after the dip or just continues to rise from here, I want to go over some of their new investor presentation that was posted yesterday. Movella is a global leader in digitizing movement of the human body to mimic human movement. Here's a photo of their technology. And as you can see, right in their IR deck, you can see that this photo right here, you can line up the same photo. This technology was shared on the Tesla Optimus Twitter page, and Tesla is a customer of the MVLA technology, which gives MVLA huge potential, you know, maybe even a billion dollar market cap, but that's, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving any targets here. They're working with the NBA, NFL, NHL for their future of their video games. In quarter one, 2023, they did 9.2 million revenue. They have 62.1 million cash on hand, over 2,000 customers, 226 employees, 176 patents issued and pending. They are in the they are in all the hot sectors, including metaverse, next gen gaming, robotics, sport tech, sports technology, and of course artificial intelligence. Their customers include EA, Netflix, Marvel, Nickelodeon, Ubisoft, LA Dodgers, Golden State Warriors, Toyota, NASA, NVIDIA, Boeing, and many more names are, that are listed right here. This has the potential to be one of those companies of the future. 
and even a short-term trading opportunity, which is why I'm bringing it to you here. It's already been a great trading opportunity. Could have more. You could see a dip in the near future. It's been green for like 10 days in a row now. But the most intriguing aspect of this company is they are selling their technology to Tesla. If MVLA does get a pullback, they're support at 275 and 258. You, these two levels right here. That would be a great pullback opportunity, in my opinion. MVLA has resistance at 310, and the big resistance is at 350. If it gets over 350 and holds, there is not much resistance until $4.89. This one has a lot of potential. The company looks good, and a lot of people might look at this for a future long-term investment. Although anything could change, they could try to dilute. But right now, the SEC filings are not allowing them to do dilute right at, at, at the current moment. Now, ASST, let me talk about this one. It has a 15.3 million market cap and a 2.91 million float. Their Twitter page has been hinting that something is coming soon. You know, what's coming soon? They posted that on May 26th, and, and they said some amazing AI. So if they do end up posting an AI PR, there could be a decent pop out of that because people are, you know, just when they see AI in the title of a PR, they'll just buy up real quick, try to get a quick trade out of it. But if you're already in and then they drop that AI PR, it could be a great opportunity to take some profit on that massive buying that's coming in. So keep an eye out for potentially an AI PR. They're hinting it on the Twitter page. There's no guarantee of it. But if they're hinting at something's coming, I would figure it's a PR. It could just be a Twitter post, but that would be lame. Let's hope they post a nice AI PR for us in the near future. It's a small, it's a very small cap company. They can't dilute right now either. So that's a big reason why I like it. Small market cap, and it's a beaten down recent IPO. Now, ticker BRSH, this one did dip significantly today, but that could be an opportunity to get in the 25 cent range, in my personal opinion. We're waiting on the PR where BRSH is going to launch a new product this month. Sometime is in June, they should be launching this new product, which could be a PR. So keep an eye on BRSH as well. And I wanted to mention MGOL because this one, this is one I've covered a few times. It's, it's actually up like 70% right now. It just started rising today because reports that Messi is signing with Inter Miami, a U.S. soccer team. Since MGOL is the Messi store, Messi signing with a new team would drive more sales, sales to the Messi store, which would basically make more money for ticker MGOL. So MGOL is very interesting. There might be more scalp trading opportunities out of this one. Be careful. It's already up a lot. Like I said, you always use risk management, always use a stop loss if you need to. If you're trading actively, you may not need a stop loss, but if you're working all the time, you may want to consider a stop loss. Make sure you use the link in the top pin comment to sign up for Moomoo. Right now, Moomoo is giving away a $100 cash bonus, a free share of C3 AI, and then five free stocks after you use my link, sign up with my link, and then deposit $100. You get a free share of AI which is worth like 30 bucks, $100 cash free, and then five free stocks. It's a huge deal. Join the Discord. Link is in the top pinned comment. That's it for me. Peace.